Day Kentucky cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday here with Chef Allison Davis in the kitchen of Wild Time. We're sticking with this Mediterranean healthy theme. What are we doing today? It's colorful. Well, this is um, just, I wanted to kind of do a play on just a wrap, you know, like everybody just has the same wrap. Oh, yeah. Or anywhere you go, it's like a club <laughs> sandwich wrap, you know. So I wanted to kind of do a little different wrap. What I'm doing is I picked up the spinach wraps um, at the grocery store, um, which I really like. They're just like kind of garden herb oh, flavor. Yeah. So they're just different than, you know, your whole wheat. And then what I'm doing first is layering this with um, some honey mustard. So this is just Dijon and honey mixed together to give you a nice little honey mustard spread. So already you have a lot of flavor right there just on the wrap. Exactly, but we're not going to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> no. So this is going to be a cranberry feta turkey wrap. So we're going to make a cheese spread. Okay. All right, so I'm doing a combination of cream cheese. I've got feta cheese and a little bit of goat cheese working in here. Do those different flavors play off each other, the feta and the yeah, goat cheese? Yeah, they're all kind of salty, but the cream cheese will help kind of bring them together a little bit. So grab a paper towel here. If you were to suggest one or the other, because I know a lot of times it's kind of overwhelming. Do we go for the goat? Do we go for the feta? Do we go for the fancy? What would right. you say? Um, well, in this case, I like feta because this, again, has a little, the feta is a really, you know, particular flavor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to whip all of this together and then we're going to add in some cranberries to our spread and then we're going to start to layer this. So what are you pouring in there now? A little bit of cream just to thin it out. Okay. Oh, and you put the cranberries right in. So you can see we whip this up and I uh, took the goat cheese, the feta, the cream cheese and then if you want it to be a spread, I added just a touch of cream and then I just whipped in the cranberries in there. It does look more whipped up than I expected with such dense right. ingredients. So now we're just going to kind of spread it in and this is going to kind of be our cheese instead of like a sliced cheese yes. in our wrap. And it has um, all, I mean, I can only imagine all the different tangs you're going with, with the cranberries <laughs> and the feta and the goat. If only we could use that word when we're describing food, the tangs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I go very uh, professional on my All right, my so we've got a bit of our uh, mixture in here. You don't have to do too much, you know, and I'm just spreading it kind of towards the middle sure. because, again, it's going to be a roll-up. You're going like to wrap, wrap it up anyways. Mm -hmm. So I cut a little bit of romaine lettuce. That'll give us a nice crunch in our wrap. So you want to go with that romaine to keep mm -hmm. that crunch. And also lettuce serves as a nice like more, like barrier. Sure. So then we can add in our turkey. We can add in, I've just had some like bell peppers. Yes. If you like spice, I mean you could throw in, you know, you know whatever like you spice. want. Yeah, you could throw in whatever you want. And you could probably add even different meats if you wanted to. Yeah, you could so certainly do that. All right, and so then we're going to kind of roll this up. And so I typically fold in the sides. And then I'll sometimes kind of push the turkey and whatnot towards the bottom because we're doing a wrap. Sure. And I'll show you another way that it's we can do this. It's a very robust wrap. Right? So just kind of turning your sides. It's like a burrito, right? But you make it look really easy. You just tuck and roll. Tuck, 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 tuck and roll. All right. So there's one of our wraps. And then we can... Ooh, you do the diagonal slice. Right. That adds an extra little, little touch. I know, I know. And then the other way that you could do this. It's so pretty. The other way you could do this is we could kind of spread this all out a little bit thinner. And we could do little pinwheels. Oh, we're okay. going to get really fancy now. So if we take our turkey and we kind of layer it out a little bit thinner, we can roll it more like a pinwheel. So everything's kind of even. Sure. And then... This makes me feel better because I just felt silly calling the wrap. Pr oh, that's so pretty. But <laughs> it is with all the colors. And so this then we'll feel... kind of cut our edges off. And then you can serve these up at little parties, yes. right? So I thought this would be great for like little summer barbecues or, you know, little like kids activities, you know, if you're trying to, you know, show them something a little healthier. Sure. So there's kind of two ways to go about it, but very easy, very quick. Um, and I just love the combination of the feta, the cranberries. I'm so impressed that it, it is so easy, yet it comes out so attractive yeah. looking because I, I'm making fun of it's myself. all about the but colors. But it really is. Yeah, yeah that color makes colors. a deal. And that cheese kind of holds it together. Yep. Yeah. There you go.
You know this recipe is up on your website. and Yeah, we post the videos at wildtimecooking.com, and then you can go to middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes to pull that up. Stay with us. We'll be right back.